So if you enjoy these types of kit reviews and want to see some more, don't forget to uh, give us a like or subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll be very grateful. Take care. Morning guys. So uh, just doing a three mile lockdown walk. Uh, caught the, the triangle locally and uh, just to get out, clear the head. And uh, just got the new ripstop shirt from Ridgeline on and um, I'm about two miles into it now and uh, yeah it's just keeping me up just got a t-shirt underneath and it's quite it's just above freezing today and uh, it's keeping me nice and toasty warm under this so I'll uh, just a bit of a short thoughts initial thoughts um, the zips either side on this thing very similar to way a buffalo or a montane um, shirt is uh, mountain shirts are constructed and uh, couple of things I just noticed so the zips are on either side yeah a couple of thoughts on it so there's like velcro on each side of the zips which so it's easy to open and ventilate if you want to open the zip and just keep it in place in place but you've also got the ventilation but also um the inside is like a micro fleece so not quite as heavy as a, a montane or a buffalo but it's certainly doing its job and keeping me warm so I'll just wrap this initial view, review for initial thoughts um hand pockets uh, one side of it, the outer side is uh, got hand warmer material on it, not the full pocket, which is a bit of a surprise. Only a minor thing, but uh, a bit of attention Friends to detail. Of mine. One of them's got the buffalo, one of them's got a montane. So I'm going to try them on and compare them in terms of the weight and how they feel. And I know this is a, a cheaper, I know this is a cheaper alternative. This came in on the sale about uh, 65 quid. So. Um, a lot cheaper than the buffaloes and the montanes but uh, I'll try them on compare them but certainly not disappointed for what I pay for it in the sale and it's great for this sort of thing for dog walking and things and just keep yourself warm like I say just above freezing I've got a t-shirt on underneath and uh, it's keeping me toasty warm and got enough ventilation so before this noise kicks in I'm gonna cut it here so hey guys I'm back in the house now and uh, earlier on today, just um, to started the uh, test of the new um, Ridgeline Ripstorm Light uh, smock shirt, they call it, but it's more of a smock really. And I uh, just wanted to talk to you a few features and my initial thoughts on it. So uh, the price point's really good. It's about, um, normally about 79. I got it at the sale with about uh, tenner off, so that was great, it was like a bargain. And um, it's kind of a, put out there as an alternative. It's a, it's a mid layer, and it's to be used with um, obviously like an outer layer. And um, it's put up against as kind of an alternative to a buffalo shirt or a montane extreme smock. So uh, I obviously like a bargain. I thought I've been after one of these for a while. I like Ridgeline gear. I think their price point's really good, and I just want to share my initial thoughts on it really. So I'll talk you through, through the features uh, with it on and then again different shot with it taken off so you can get an idea of it so first of all you can see on here you've got the uh, cinch mechanism of the velcro which makes it dead easy so you can uh, ventilate the heat that you know escapes out of your, out of your cuff or you want to can, uh, control it to keep the heat in again you know normal sort of a three quarter zip at the top this is really good with a kind of a storm flap there um, on the front there one thing I like about Ridgeline gear is the the way the sort of the zippers work they're really really good and the way they've got these uh, toggles on the end so you've got your gloves on they're easy enough to open and close it's really good two pockets which go all the way through and there's a hand warmer part on here um, minor points um, about the, the warmer the hand warmer pockets the material so the hand warmer uh, material the pocket is on only on one side um, I think a, a slight improvement would be to you know make sure that the if that material is used in the whole of the pocket but that's only a minor point um, I was walking today and it was quite cold didn't have my gloves on so the one side of it felt really warm and the inside was this material here which I want to talk to you about for a minute so this material is um, rip stop and um, before I bought the garment, I thought it would be well, a lot sort of harder to the touch of this, but it's actually quite soft. It's quite an um, interesting type of material. So I think if it is ripped, you can stitch. It's not like a buffalo that would just would rip completely, uh, as I understand. Um, but um, it is 
classed as ripstop, so we'll wait and see how, how robust that is and how hard wearing it is. I know on the, the Montaigne's they've got a panel here which is uh, a bit of a tougher material. Anyway, the, um, the one thing I did want to mention definitely was this kangaroo pouch here is pretty phenomenal. It's like the size goes all the way down here, right all the way down the bottom. So you would be able to get a map uh, into this kangaroo pouch here. So you're out and about on the hills, you'd be able to put that in a map into that uh, space there. So that's really, really helpful. So I'm going to take this off now. Um, and then I'll just show you sort of the micro fleece inside and see how that looks as well. But today I can definitely vouch that I went out for a three mile walk, didn't overheat too much, it was two miles into the walk and I kind of sort of, because I run a bit of a cardio workout, I did step on it and just to generate some heat. And the great thing is about this mock here, there's some side vents here and the Velcro stoppers here, you can see that, so you can open it. But you can also keep the garments, you sort of keep the smock together, but also get the ventilation. And they've got those on this side and that side, same idea as well. So they work really, really well. And I think today, they, you know, so you've got ventilation at the sides, right at the side, and here on the front as well. So that's really, really good. So, hi everyone, I'm just going to uh, show you uh, a bit closer, really, the, uh, the micro fleece that's in this uh, Rip Storm Light uh, Ridgeline top. Um, <clears throat> slightly different to the Montaigne and the, and the Buffalo is their pile is uh, a lot sort of bigger than this, a bit thicker. But I've been wearing it today. It's about minus four outside today. Went and took uh, my daily walk locally, and um, I just had a t-shirt underneath, and it kept me warm. So this is doing its job. It's um, I think it's a lot lighter than those other two, um, like the Buffalo and the uh, Montaigne. But certainly for the price point, I'm not being disappointed at all. And uh, it really is doing its job and keeping me warm. It's well ventilated. Um, you can see on the side, I think I mentioned it um, on my video when I, was doing, when I was walking. But you can see here, these are so the double, you know, double zips. And there's a bit of a storm flap over those as well. And they open up completely. But as you can see, um, great feature there with the Velcro. You can keep it ventilated but also keep the shape of the smock on you when you're walking as well so I really, I really like this I guess um, things that I would probably change um, the um, I gotta say the kangaroo pouch is quite fiddly when you're trying to walk and zip it up at the same time so um, I know that uh, on other smocks they've got like a velcro piece there so maybe that's something to think about um, it's just a bit fiddly uh, the other zips have got no problem on um, I did say the so the hand warmer material which is here um, which is on the front of the pouch as you can see the hand warmer that works really well but again the in, sort of the inside of it is is this material as well so sort of the inside near your stomach so I would probably again ridge line fill out the uh, whole pocket lining with hand warmer uh, material because um, so I forgot my gloves. Uh, yesterday it was quite cold and um, I used my hand, I put my hands into that front pocket um, and there's quite a difference in the temperature on the hand warmer material. It's just comfort really, so it's just small things, small nickels and the only other thing I probably would add to it, it would be um, there's no ability to cinch this at the bottom, so there's no um, whatever you would call it to cinch, to tighten it up, so uh, um, probably you know you can't close the bottom of the smock here. So yeah, so there's no, as you can see, there's no um, cinching mechanism here. So on um, the Explorers I've got, you can cinch it up and that works really well to keep the heat in as well. So overall, I'm really pleased with it and um, fits nice and snug and does its job, keeps me warm. And um, yeah, so I'll Probably do another review in say a couple of months, two or three months, and uh, when I've got some more use out of it, um, I'm using this daily now for my uh, local lockdown walks and walking the dog. But it's just a great bit of kit to use, and I really like it. I like Ridgeline stuff, as you know, and um, I think their price point is really, really good. Uh, they seem to get it right, and um, you know I'll be using this sort of wild camping, keep me keep me warm. This would definitely burn. It's not uh, fireproof, so you know if you went near the fire, 
a bit like a buffalo as well, I guess. That, that stuff burns, but that's not what you buy it for, is it? So I would naturally put this as a mid layer and put another coat of sort of fine retardant material of coats, which got a few of those, which you can sit by these sparks that hit you. But overall, really pleased. It's dead comfortable. Um, you know, price point that I paid for it. Um, normally, like I said, I think it comes in at about 70 or 80 pounds, I think it is. And uh, but yeah, it's great. It's it's um, yeah, I really like it, and uh, I'm sure I get a lot of use of it. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, as I said before, the things to uh, think about are the sizing on ridge line. So um, the Explorer smock that I tried on over this is a medium, and it's a lot lot longer and a lot bigger. Um, and uh, when you're buying ridge line kit, I would pay attention to size guides and look at some of the reviews. But overall, really pleased, okay, and great addition to my kit list. So, uh, good. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care.